Hi everyone, uh, in this video I want to show you my code to uh, make what's known as pottery analysis. Okay, uh, it is mainly used by uh, archaeologists. Okay, and uh, the people who are studying the uh, history, okay, or the uh, fragments of broken pottery. However, I want to show you a code which can be used uh, for many many things. Okay, it can be used for uh, a lot of study of uh, reconstruction of a 3D uh, body from a fragment. So let's say you have a, a 3D body, and all you have, what you have, is a fragment of this symmetric body, and you want to study it and classify it. So this actually can be used in many many things. Okay, so let's first see the the input. The input is a program. Well, the input is simply a picture which. Uh, shows the 2D of a fragment. Let me explain this. Let's say that you have a pottery, uh, a plate or something like that, and you have the shape of a fragment. So, something like that. You have, this is a fragment, a piece, it has been broken, and what you have is only the 2D profile. Now, you want to see how the 3D uh, shape looks like, and you want to make an analysis, an estimation of the, the volume, you want to make some mathematical analysis for this profile okay so that's what we're gonna do now uh, another example something like this like that so you have a fragment you have the shape of the fragment and you want to 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 see the whole body okay okay so you can use it even to rotate any 2d uh, body and make and make a 3d uh, construction of that okay. let's uh, try the code so here you go as a GUI uh, interface. So let's first say that the radius you estimate a radius, okay? So let's say it's 10 millimeter, and then you browse for an input. Let's take anyone, okay? So it's shape, and you go you go to 3D reconstruction and say build. Here you see it is you have the the shape of the original body that is the output and Sorry, the, the, the inner body and the outer body of this shape. Okay, and you can estimate the capacity. It's about uh, I don't know, 35.5 liter, something like that. Now let's come to this analysis, which is the radius, the tangent, and the curvature. Now this is uh, used a lot in the archaeology analysis, as I said before. What you do now is that you take a reference point, this is the reference point, and what you do is that you have this one which is called S, and the S is simply the, the distance along the curve, okay? So you have a function uh, uh, of the distance along the curve. So if this is the zero point, here you have the reference at the zero, you have a positive as you go this side, and a negative as you go this side. And what you see is the change of the radius, how much the radius is changing from the axis of rotation as you move. What you have here is the tangent, and the tangent is also as a function of uh, S, the curved distance from the reference point. What you want is now the, basically the dy by dx, the tangent, okay? The, yes, the, the dy by dx. This is actually the definition of it, the tangent at each s. So at each s, how the tangent changes. Now the curvature is a change of the tangent with the s. Okay, how the tangent to change as a function uh, of s. So you can see it is d tangent by ds. Okay. Now all the three can be calculated from each other. And uh, all the three, only one of them can be specific to a certain uh, pottery, a certain uh, body, and be like a fingerprint for this body. Um, however, you need the three because each one uh, emphasizes a certain a certain thing. The radius emphasizes something, but the tangent emphasizes more the curvature, something like that. So you need the three to make sure the three together. Each of course is, is, is numbers, vectors, you can save it in a file. It's like a fingerprint to this uh, body. 
Now what you do is that you can use this three uh, vectors to make what's known as a clustering or uh, an, uh, clustering analysis of the pottery. So you can estimate or you can say that this group of bodies are very similar to each other so they belong to basically the same group and you make some uh, some kind of clustering between them so you can predict if you have a, 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 a broken piece of, of a pottery let's say uh, which age it belongs to which uh, area it belongs to something like that so you have the code and you can uh, get it actually from the description and you will have a lot of functions in it that you can use you can use the 3d reconstruction only you can use this curvature to make a clustering you can use it in the pottery analysis so it, I hope it helps for you let's let's change the radius let's make it bigger 100 so here you have the change and you can say build again and you can see that the radius is bigger and you can see that the volume is is, uh, is bigger now uh, let's try another uh, example something like this okay so you have a as you can see you have a different radius it is it is a whole new fingerprint for this body and you can see here how the pottery looked like uh, in the first place okay and the estimation of the volume let's try uh, another one okay let's take anyone uh, let's take this one maybe. yes has a very weird shape so I, I got this photo from the internet, it's for the broken pieces of um, studied uh, pottery. Okay, and you can see that this was the shape of the, of the original body. Okay, now let's say that you want to save this. So here you can save the result. What you will see is something like that. So maybe you can make it bigger. Okay, and make it best fit and here you go and then uh, print okay let's give the name let's call it test okay now we should see yes test is there so let's uh, let's look for it should be here somewhere Okay, so yes, here it is. You can see uh, everything. So, so uh, I hope this is helpful for you. And you uh, if you have an idea, and you can uh, maybe uh, use this uh, method to apply it. You can get the code from the description. I hope you like this video, and uh, hope you subscribe to my channel. Thank you, everyone.